looking into the paranormal veil. Death waits for no one when it comes. Purgatory is the spirit's jail. Built behind the blind man's wall. Catch the specter behind the glass. EVPs and disembodied voice. It all happens when the bones are cast. After death, there is no choice. Looking into the paranormal veil. Death waits for no one when it comes. Purgatory is a spirit's jail. Built behind a blind man's wall. Pastors and healers and shamans and poets. We explore the darkened room. Mm -hmm. Hello my YouTubians, how you doing? So today I brought this cart so that after my 20 steps I can sit down because last time was just way too much work. Uh, so I thought, why don't we go with this? However, there is something else I wanted to talk about. Uh, me and a team were discussing and uh, well, I'd like to get your opinion on it. We were thinking about starting two new series, uh, kind of a competition if you say, between the team. Uh, we're going to have Kicking It Old School with Bra and Danny. And uh, basically, other than the cameras, uh, everything that we use for investigating is going to be my old school stuff. And uh, and we're also going to have the next generation with Blaine and Bra, or <laughs> Blaine and Surf. And they're going to use all the new stuff. And we're going to go head-to-head -head competitions to see who gets the best evidence. I'd like to know what you think of that. And yes, we're here at the tunnel. All right, that's it for now. Cool. Well, hello, YouTubians. Bra here from uh, Chasing Boats Inspectors. Danny gave me the, the lead on this one today because, well, why not? So, again, we're here at Flat Tunnel. We're going to be investigating and using uh, the machines to see what we can hear and find out what uh, spirits have to say to us. So, if you like what we do, again, hit, hit the bell, subscribe, give, throw us a comment, and please share our videos. Let other people know. At the, the end of this, I got, you know, some... A little bit more information about what Danny was saying about the, the two series coming up. Well, let's take a look to see what, find out what uh, Fat Tunnel have to say for us. Hey, my YouTubians, how you doing? Okay, so I'm going to show you some old school techniques the way I, we did this before. Well, speaking of which, I was on the way here. I was talking to Bron, and I was talking. about we used to have these big uh, reel to reels, you know, when we did stuff. And then I think about 40, 45 years ago, we got a compact one. It was about this big, and it was a reel to reel, and it only weighed 12 pounds. And we were like, "Oh, we got a cat's ass here. This is really light, you know." And uh, now we got these little tiny recorders that you can record like four or five hours on. And this thing was an hour. And we were all excited. But anyway, I digress. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do some uh, questions, and uh, you can see how how I do it. All right. <clears throat> Hello spirits, can you please show me a yes? Okay, can you show me a no? Very good. Um, when I get the right number, just tell me yes, okay? At any given time, are there four spirits here? Five spirits, six, six spirits. Okay, so am I correct that there's six? All right. Uh, how many men? One, two, three, three men. Is there a woman? There is a woman. Uh, okay. Well, let's try this. Did this woman have on a blue dress and a basket picking up stones? She did. Uh, was she a cook? 
she was a cook. All right. Now, so that's four people. So the other two, were they children? Yes? Okay, was it a boy and a girl? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, I can't really think of anything else to talk about at the moment. Okay, spirits, thank you for communicating. I'm going to close this now. But don't worry, because Blaine here and Bra, they're going to do some communication. We got the spirit box and we got other kind of stuff. Uh, but thank you for communicating with me. It's been an honor. There we go. Okay, well, we just uh, got a head count here from Danny with uh, the rods. And I want to see if they're in a talkative mood. Hello spirits, how are we doing today? If there's any here wishing to speak, come over here and talk to the, you know, talk to me and talk into this box here. So spirits are you with us? I hear a lot of water dropping from the ceiling and down, down the walls here. I did hear footsteps earlier. Is uh, somebody walking towards us? Uh, the workman that Danny uh, saw the last time with Geo. Are you with us uh, again today? Okay, I'm going to close communications. Uh, we'll try again later. If you have anything to say, now is the time to do that. All right, closing communications. Well, let's see. Let's be breathing. Just before the breath. It sounds just like the breathing. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound like anyone wants to talk to me today, which is you know, part for the course, other than you know, critiquing my, my humor, if you've watched the video with Sherry. So, <laughs> <laughs> so in a bit, we'll, you know, we'll try some of the other devices that we have, and maybe we can get a, you know, something more concrete here. Hello, Spinach. How you doing? It's Danny from Chasing Bond Inspector. Some bras here and blings here. How are you doing today? Is there anything you'd like to tell us? Would you like us to do a blessing sometime or bring you some food? Sure would appreciate it if you'd say hello. Don't have to, but we'd appreciate it. All right, spirits, we're gonna be here for a little bit and hope we get to enjoy your company some and talk to you. Uh, for right now, I'm closing this communication. All right, let's have a listen. Would you like us 
us to do a blessing sometime or bring you some food. Mosquito. Sure would appreciate it if you'd say hello. Don't have to, but we'd appreciate it. All right, now we're two and zero. Oh. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll get something here. Uh, we're gonna go down that way a little bit more, and uh, geez, that camera's close. And uh, we're gonna go that way a little bit more, and then we're gonna let Bra use the one box, and I'll use the other box, and see if we can get something from there. Started scanning. All right, I'm gonna be using uh, the Paratech uh, Spirit Box right now. Spirits, are you with us? Is there anyone here with us? I'm not feeling you as strong as I did the last time I was here. Did we scare you away? Um, ask us. Us. Okay. Us? So you are here with us. How are you doing? Group. Well, there's a group of us and there's a group of uh, you. Who is it? Uh, later. Later. Later or later. 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 So. I yeah, am. You are. Well, it's good to know that you are. Vow. Vow. You make a vow. Are you the mother of the two children? Yeah. Are you the cook? Informed. We were informed, yes, that uh, a woman in a blue dress. Uh, November. November. What happened in November? I wonder if that's when she passed. Or maybe it's because I'm leaving in November. Are you leaving in November? I'm leaving in November. Right, we were talking about the bonfire part. Deceit. Deceit. You're lying. <laughs> Okay, was something deceitful here? Oh, you're giving us some good... Seven. Seven. The number is seven. Okay. What, is one of the children seven years old? Were you here November 7th? November 7th, the date that you passed? Stupid. <laughs> well, that's just rude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I'm asking the wrong questions, you don't have to be rude about it. <laughs> Am I being stupid or are these questions stupid? Money. Money. Okay, you were working for the railroad as a, as a cook? And it was stupid that you being out here in the middle of nowhere in Northwest Ontario? That sounds more like it. I'm grasping straws. <laughs> but you did it for money? Edna. Edna. Was that her what, name? Was, it, was that your name? Are you Edna? Us. Us. So Edna, was it you and the two children? The two children, uh, the boy and the girl, yours, Edna? Okay, there was a drop of water on that. Just a poor little bit. So it hits me on the head now. Quarantines. Quarantines. Um, sickness along the route? Smallpox, measles? Because there was sickness along the, uh, the railroad workers working along the lines for all the different companies. England. Yeah, um, during the railroad, there was all uh, people from England who was uh, like Sir John A. Macdonald who wanted to build the railroad. 
Yeah, Sir John A. MacDonald was happy that it was getting done, unifying the country. Were you happy being with Cook, Edna? Were you, did you? Thomas. Thomas. Was that the boy? Was it Thomas the boy's name? Quill. Quill. Thomas Quill. Thomas Quill, or did you write about it? Did, uh, is there a, a written story of, or a diary of your time here? Opposite. Opposite of writing a diary. Letters? Maybe it's opposite. You said a book, and I said the last name. You're saying books. You said yeah, book. okay. Maybe it's the last name, Quill. So was it Thomas Quill? Were you one of the writers for the, did you also write for the newspaper? Indicate. Wow. So, were you, like you answered after I asked for about the newspaper, did you indicate uh, about the sickness that was going up and down the line with all the workers? Is that what happened to Thomas? Paper. So there's a possibility you were a reporter. Ease. Okay. I need to know what the significance of water is. Yes. What is the significance of water? Plain. Plain water? Yes. Because on the way here, both Blaine and myself felt, you know, droplets of water hitting us when they shouldn't have. We're just wondering if that has anything to do with here. Ninety. Ninety. I also had the nagging voice of ask about the water, so... Ask about the water. I just don't know what question to ask about it. Was your water supply bad? Thermal. Thermal. Okay. Did you guys get sick from the water? Yeah. Tapping. We heard tapping the last time we were here. Where did we tap in the water? You know, or, you know, the taps on the water? Ben. Okay, was Ben in charge of the water? Was Ben somebody who worked on the railroad? Yeah, we're great until we can figure out what Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm asking way too many questions. All right, spirits, so I'm gonna close this down. Thank you for this. You're gonna you know, make me wonder, and I'm gonna to have to you know, read up about teacher. this. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah, my teacher told me to shut up. So, okay, thank you, Edna. I love these mysteries. Yeah. You know, like, you always got to figure out what they're trying to say to you. Mm -hmm. And because I did read up about this, I'm going on with what I know about the history of the place and the questions I'm asking. These could very well be things going on in our life and, you know, in the back of our heads, and they could be remarking on that. Hard to say. So, fun. Hello, spirits. How you doing? Not bad, that's good. Good, that's good. Anything you want to say to Bra, Blaine, or myself? No? Okay. <clears throat> hey, hi, Bra. I, I got a qu question for you. Go ahead, okay. When people come here, sometimes they walk in and get a headache. Is that a residual from a head accident? Yep. It, would there a lot of people have a head accident from the stones falling? Yeah. And would the sore back be uh, from the labor as well? Yep. So when people come here and they get headaches and stuff, it's just, uh, they're just feeling your thing and, and it's not, uh, 
You guys doing it, right? Yeah? Resist it? Okay. Oh yeah, you don't want her to let you resist that, eh? Yeah? So it's, it's just residual that people feel? You're telling? Okay. Go ahead and tell me then. Oh, Edna? Edna, are you there? She is? Okay, Edna, we were wondering, did you work for the newspaper as well as being a cook while you were here? She did? She wrote words. And fed people. Yeah? What does she collect rocks for in a basket? Fire. And wood? You collect wood in a basket too? She did, yeah? The lady worked hard? Yeah? So, so Thomas was the boy's name? Yeah? What was the girl's name? Pam? So it was Thomas and Pam? Yeah? So it's Edna, Thomas, and Pam. What about her husband? Did you have a husband? Steve? He died. Before, okay. So she kept working, okay. So they worked as a family, like him and her, and then she just kept working? Even with her grief, yeah? She made good suppers? Oh, that's nice. Okay, spirits, thank you so much. Blessings to you. I appreciate and really, really, really enjoy your conversation. I'm going to go now, okay? Say that again? Which one? Blaine? Blaine's right there, yeah. Hi, Blaine. Hi. Okay. Blaine and Bra are going to go way down there. Look, way down there. And they're going to talk to you a little bit more, but I'm going to go head back and, and relax now, okay? I, I'm sore. Okay. Bless you, too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, she said, bless you. That's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right before you said that. <coughs> okay, my YouTubians, I really enjoyed that little conversation. I'm going to head back now because I'm sore. I'm going to go back to the vehicle. Uh, but these two, however, are going to continue investigating. They're going to go down and do another spirit box. Maybe each will do, uh, or at least Brock can do another uh, EVP. And that'll be it. All right. Yeah, so I'll see you soon. Okay. Okay, here we are at the back at the beginning of the tunnel. We're going to try an EVP again. Uh, this is where we felt uh, the back pain and the head pain before. Spirits, are you with us again? Did an accident happen at this end of the cave? Was somebody injured here? Is there any spirits around? I'm not feeling anything as strong as I did the last time. Okay, spirits, I'm going to end the communication. Peace and blessings to you all.
I felt a bit, I felt slash feel a bit queasy. Queasy? Nauseous, I guess. I feel a little something in the back, but nothing near what it was. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got here. Let's try where we are. I've been getting things on this one if I remember how to turn it on. There it is. All right, let's try the Raptor box. Spirits, are you with us? Three? Three of you are with us? Who's with us? Us? Which us? Is this Edna and her children? Yes? How are you th how are you three doing? Fine? Are you at peace? Yes? This is the end? No, it's not the end. Okay. Is there anything you wish to say? Yeah? What is it you wish to say? Bad food? We heard you were a good cook, Edna. Maybe she had a bad import, mm. and that's what caused the sickness. Yeah? Did sickness happen because of the water? Yeah? It had? Okay, seeing as you're going to talk about a boot, I'm going to go to the other, the other one. So maybe we can get something clearer, okay? I'm going to stop with this. Alrighty. Seems a little bit more talkative now. Yeah. Started scanning. Edna, are you still here? 50. I'll be 50 in a couple of years. Edna, are you still here? Bark. Bark. Make tree bark? Or dogs barking. Because we did smell something that reminded us of dog in the tunnel. Unlock. Unlock. Are we slowly unlocking the mysteries of the tunnel? No. Hull. Like a boat hull? Okay, right now down far. Well, boats are far away, far away. Did you come on here on a ship? All right, we got Danny coming with with, with the truck, with the with the car. Is there anything else you wish to say? Industry. Industry. That's a big word. That's a big word, especially when dealing with all the train companies trying to build across Canada.
ooze. Well, there's an odd word to be saying. Well, I see you know, water oozing down the, the sides. Is that what you mean? Southern. Southern. Um, actually, I think this is the Eastern wish. wish. Do, do you wish to, that you made it to the South? Fell. Fell. Okay, that's the second time I was told some, some, about something falling. Is that to do with the tunnel or what we were discussing earlier today? I'm asking too many questions again. Right. Note. Okay. So we had paper, writing, notes. February. February. I was born in February. See, all, the, all this information is just getting me confused. As I was saying, I wanted to be a lawyer, hence me asking questions. Yourself. Yes, I'm asking questions for myself. Am I being annoying? Am I annoying you, Edna? Edna, are you still here? Quarantines. Quarantines. Okay, so we had quarantine, and now we had quarantines. So was that a problem with uh, the workers up and down the line here? Immersion. Okay, getting sunk into something. Okay, no, you lost me on that one. Okay, well, I'm going to stop uh, this here and now because I'm confused. Diego. Diego. See, now that just really. No, no not Diego? Is it a different name than Diego? No, I'm not confused. No, don't go. Am I like right out of left field here? Instead. Instead, okay, I'm, that doesn't help me in a, a bit. All right, I'm gonna thank you for your, for your time. I wish you peace and love and all the best. Ending communication. Scanning stopped. I, I, I don't get any of that. I'm lost as well. Yeah. But in it, it's interesting that over there we had quarantine, and here we have quarantines. The only thing I can think is, um, one, the th two thoughts in my head is the illness was intentional. Like someone try to get them sick in, on purpose, mm -hmm. I, that's popping into my head. And the other thing is with quarantines, they spray you down and that would be water. Yeah, well, um, back then, quarantine, like, they locked you in, in, into some place and <laughs> let you die you know, huh. locked up during the, you know, when they were building yeah. this. Uh, again, they could have used water. Um, they could have been using bark to, to boil to make a soup. To treat the illness, mm -hmm. it's just so many questions that come up when I'm <laughs> when I'm asking questions. Yeah. So the answer is just ask more questions. Yeah. So we'll uh, let it go from this. We'll see if Danny has any uh, final thoughts on the matter, and then that pretty much wraps this up. All right, YouTubians. Ra here with a few closing statements. Hope you enjoyed what we did. Hope you. Uh, you know, see something that we didn't, hear something we didn't. If you did, by all means, throw us a comment. Don't forget to, you know, throw us a, a like, make a comment, hit the bell to subscribe. Uh, look, you know, Danny told you about us uh, with the new uh, series of young, young and old, we, where we kick things old school. 
I can't, you know, so we're going to be using the old equipment. If anybody has any hints or tricks that they use for, you know, that you know is old school, by all means, you know, let, let me know either, you know, in the comments or hit me on Bra C, you know, Seabass on Facebook. Because I don't know how us older guys ended up with the heavier equipment. Anyway, peace and love. Thanks for tuning in. Well, I think this has been a pretty good investigation. And uh, I agree, uh, since we came here, this is a couple second time now. Uh, but now there's more questions than answers. So I think uh, this place deserves one more go uh, to find out some answers to some of these questions that we have. Um, there are correlations, like when I, when I sit back, I'm going to review everything and I'll see what fits into what piece and then maybe we'll get, uh, figure out what the box was about. Um, but some, some of it was repetitive to what it said over there, so there's obviously some message there that we might not just be catching. Um, so I'm going to look into that as I'm editing, and uh, until next time, take care of yourselves, take care of your family, watch out for ghosts, and have a good day. Looking into the paranormal day Death waits for no one when it comes Purgatory is the spirit's jail Built behind the blind man's wall Catch the specter behind the glass disembodied voice. It all happens when the bones are cast. After death, there is no choice. Looking into the paranormal veil. Death waits for no one when it comes. Spirit's jail built behind a blind man's wall. Pastors.